Good day everyone! Today is a great opportunity for us as we are about to witness the Tandang Sora Integrated School Virtual State of the School Advance. Sit back and take time to be well informed of the status of the school last school year 2021-2022 as well as the school events. To formally begin with this virtual presentation, let us hold ourselves in the spirit of patriotism as we listen to our Philippine National Anthem and the prayer that will remind us that we are in the holy presence of God. This will be then followed by the singing of the NCR hymn and Mabuhay Ang Kalookan. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Dear Lord, we praise and worship you today. You are exalted in our midst. We ask for forgiveness for every sin we have done. Have mercy on us, our Father. As we start our program today, let your guidance and protection be upon us. Send your Spirit to us and give us wisdom. We thank you for all the blessings we have received. We also thank you for the lives of the people in this place. Be glorified in everything we do. In your name we pray. Amen.
Today's affair wouldn't be complete without being raised by a special woman of sincere service and action, who will deliver her words of encouragement and wisdom. The floor is now yours, our dearest school principal, Mrs. Dolores C. Olivero. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Pagsaludo sa lahat sa matagumpay na taon sa Tandansora Integrated School. Napatunayan na naman natin na ang pagtutulungan at pagkakaisa ay mahalaga sa pagunlad ng paaralan. Na ipagpatuloy natin ang pagbibigay ng edukasyon sa kabila ng mga hangon sa kasalukuyan. Sa pamahalaang lunsod ng kalookan, sa pamumuno ng pinaka-pinagkakatiwalaang lingkod bayan, kagalang-galang Oscar Malapitan, sa SDO team, sa pamumuno ng Tagapamanihalang Pansangay, Dr. Nerisa Elosaria, Mga Punong Barangay, GPTA Officers, TSIS Alumni Association, at mga kapartner na pribadong kumpanya, mga guro ng TSIS na buong pusong naglilingkod at gumagabay sa mga mag-aaral, mga magulang na nagbigay ng buong suporta sa paaralan, at sa kanilang mga anak at sa lahat ng kabahagi ng Tandansora Integrated School, lubos na pasasalamat sa inyong lahat. Pagkahawak kamay tayong lahat sa pagpapatuloy ng edukasyon. Ang tagumpay ng paaralan ay dahil sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat. That was truly an inspiring address by Mrs. Oliveros. Without her constant guidance, our school would not have been as successful as it is today. At this juncture, let us recognize the presence of our school property custodian, Mr. Christopher G. Adelia for the school profile. To our stakeholders, good day everyone. For the last three years in Tandansora Integrated School, our enrollment has been steadily increasing. For junior high school, from 2019 to 2020, we have an enrollment of 1,133. For school year 2020 to 2021, 1,300. And for school year 2021 to 2022, 1,344 enrollees. For our senior high school, for 2019, to 2020, we have 349 for school year 2020 to 2021, 386, and for school year 2021 to 2022, 439. We have a total of 55 teachers in our high school department, which has one master teacher, two, two master teachers, one, two teacher heads and six teacher three and lastly seven teacher two for our high school department we are using the following facilities three buildings 30 classrooms seven toilets 1307 seats we have a 100 percent distribution of SERP learning modules from grade 7 to grade 12. Improvements of our school facilities are our topmost priority. We have constructed and rehabilitated the following for the past 3 years. 5 wash areas, 5 toilets, rehabilitation of water pipes, construction of school stage, Facilitation of construction of school fence, upgraded our power supply, constructions of two buildings, 
and rehabilitation of the following ancillary rooms the SDRRM SBM Guidance and Records LRMDS Library and ALS Room Thank you, Mr. Adelia, for that appealing introduction of our school. To tell us about the conducted school programs, let us call in our head teacher from the science department, Mrs. Amalia F. Espinueva, followed by school accomplishments to be presented by Dr. Maria Fe El Milalios, our master teacher from the science department. Good day to all of us. I am happy to present to you the monthly programs and activities of the Nassau Integrated School this is school year 2021-2022. Let's start in the month of August. One on Rica was celebrated under the leadership of senior high school Filipino teachers, Mrs. Blanca Corre and Ms. Mila. They held various competitions at the school such as spoken poetry, poster making contest, and quarantine to further promote the importance of Filipino language in the country. Next was in the month of September. The Science Club Month was celebrated under the leadership of your truly a science department head and the Science Club Advisor, Mrs. Catherine De Asis. Together with the science teachers, we held various contests such as science trivia, DIY face mask, Instagram, and digital poster making to further develop the skills of the youth in science. In October, the United Nations was held to promote unity of countries around the world. Various contests such as poster making and slogan making contests were held under the leadership of AP coordinator Mrs. Mario Malto and AP club advisor Mrs. Dardine Francisco. In November, the English National Reading Month celebration was held under the leadership of their department head Mrs. Dalisay Ocampo and the reading coordinator, Mrs. Miss Cherry in Havalia, in which various competitions were held, such as character impersonation and DIY learning. Other activities were synchronous 10 o'clock reading and webinar on reading intervention, which participated by many students and teachers. In February, the Math Month celebration was led by the Math Coordinator, Mr. Anna Tinduskat, and Math Club Advisor Mrs. Ana Lizarillas. They had various contests such as Math Google Art, Math Trivia, Module Art, Math Quiz B, and Math TikTok. And the last was the Mape Month Celebration in March, led by their coordinator Mr. Raymundo Espela and Club Advisor Mrs. Weya Manal. There were various competitions participated by the students such as slogan making, Kundiman and folk dances. The success of school activities is due to the leadership of our hardworking and supportive school head, Mrs. Dolores P. Oliveros, with the enthusiastic teachers of the Nasora Integrated School. We hope to see you all back to normal as we have more fun, exciting, and informative activities next school. Thank you very much and God bless us all. I am here to present the school's accomplishments through its various programs and activities. Pursuant to Death and Memo No. 48, Series 2021, the Oplan Balik Escuela 2021 was successfully implemented in DSIS with the outpouring of support through various donations and volunteerism from the stakeholders. Under the flagship of Brigada Escuela 2021, DSIS conducted different activities for the students and other stakeholders. First were the activities organized by the Washington Schools Program. The activities focus on hygiene practices, COVID-19 prevention, and proper waste management. During the culminating program of Brigade Escuela 2021, the accomplishments of wins were showcased and one of the most memorable parts of the said program was the Family Hand Washing Dance Challenge participated in by TSI students and their families. On September 28, the WINS Technical Working Group, through the guidance of school head Mrs. Dolores T. Oliveros, 
and support of Mr. Eduardo Cruz Jr., our Brigada Escuela Coordinator, the 2021 WINS webinar was held. The said webinar focused on the three important aspects of WASH in Schools program, and these are First, Adopting WINS at Home, discussed by Ms. Christine Marie S. Gutierrez, Nurse 2 of SDO Kalaokan. Second, Oral Hygiene Management, shared by Dr. Maria Rosario Arleano, Dentist. And third, Proper Waste Management, discussed by Ms. Nicole Nombre, currently the YESO President. On October 15, 2021, the Global Hand Washing Day was celebrated in PSIS. Kulayan sa Tahanan Teachers, students, and their families continue to grow vegetables in their homes. They express their joy and the benefits of growing their own food through their Facebook posts and in sharing their wonderful experiences on having their own Gulayan sa Tahanan. Mr. Romeric Fernando, the school coordinator of Gulayan sa Tahanan, and now Gulayan sa Paaralan, is advocating for sustainability of the program and for the continued support of all our stakeholders. The Brigada Pagbasa of Tandang Sora Integrated School conducted several activities for the school year 2021-2022, namely, first, setting up a reading corner at home and school, second, successfully held the Brigada Pagbasa virtual kickoff, third, successfully held the Brigada Pagbasa webinar with Mom Trixie Samson as the resource speaker, fourth, conducted an outreach activity with the three barangays near the school, namely Barangay 122, Barangay 105, and Barangay 102, and last, successfully implemented the project read or the reading enhancement for academic development using the Phil ERI for pre and post reading assessment. This time from the psychological first aid. Mrs. Marilu Maltu, PFA coordinator together with the PWG organized and conducted the PFA webinar for school year 2021-2022 entitled Journey to Mental Health Awareness Amidst the Pandemic. It happened last September 24, 2021 with three distinguished speakers, namely Dr. Bernadette Enriquez, LPT Sese, Vice President for Research and Publication and the Concurrent Dean of Liberal Arts and Sciences at the UCC. Ms. Susana Ruth B.G. Penilia, Registered Guidance Counselor and a former student of PSIS. And of course, Mrs. Ida R. Zabala, Guidance Teacher from the Elementary Department. Last April 1, 2022, the YESO Club, through their officers and through the guidance of their advisor, Mr. Eduardo Cruz Jr., organized and conducted a webinar entitled, Constructing a Simple Hydroponic System at Home. The speaker was our very own Mrs. Sarina Numananak from the English Department. The ongoing project of the YESO is the A Million Flowers Bloom, and they already started making a very nice garden in front of the senior high school building. The School's Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or SDRRMC. SDRRMC Coordinator Mr. Christopher G. Adelie leads the TSI students, teaching and non-teaching personnel in participating in the National Simultaneous Earthquake Drills. The first NSAID took place last March 11, 2021, the second uh, quarterly NSAID last June 10, 2021, and the third 
quarterly NSAID last sa September 16, 2021. Next is the school disinfection training. This is a month-long training which lasted from September 27 to October 27. Next is the DPWH Structural Assessment or Inspection. Next, installation of the fire extinguishers. And then, posting of SDRRM posters uh, or infographic. And then, the uh, tree cutting activity initiated or led by our LGU. So, all these activities were conducted course, not to ensure the safety and the well-being of all the personnel of TSIS, but most especially of all our students. Finally, we are very proud to report about the successful implementation of the limited face-to-face -face classes in TSIS. After two years of implementing the distance learning modalities, TSIS reopened the campus and joyfully welcomed the 240 students from grade 7 to 10 last February 9, 2022. Prior to this, members of the school composite team, through the leadership of Mrs. Dolores P. Oliveros, conducted different activities and successfully complied with all the preparations stated in the school safety assessment tool, assuring that ESIS is safe, effective, and efficient in conducting the face-to-face -face learning modality. Thank you, Mrs. Espenueva and Dr. Melalios. Your presentations have made all of us proud of our school's achievement over the years. At this point, to proudly present the awards and recognition received by the school, we are giving the floor to the head teacher from the Department of English, none other than Mrs. Lodgarda Dalisay G. Ocampo. It's my pleasure to announce the school awards and recognition for the school year 2021-2022. Start with, we participated in the 2021 Vision Science Fair, a digital side poster making contest for senior high school, we got the third place. 2021 Vision Science Fair for Do It Yourself, Facing Contest for Senior High School, fifth place. 2021 Exhibition Online Press Conference for Secondary in Pagsulat ng Balita, second place. For editorial writing, we got the second place. Pagwawasto at pagukulo ng balita, third place. Pagsulat ng polo, sixth place. Paglalarawang kundi, sixth place. Pagsulat ng editorial, ninth place. Feature writing, ninth place. Pagkuha ng larawan, for the 2021 Exhibition Online Press Conference in Secondary, Top 5 Performing School Paper Advisors in Filipino and in English, we got the 4th place. For the 2021 Exhibition Online Press Conference Secondary, Top 10 Performing Principal, 7th place. 2021 Exhibition Online Press Conference Secondary Top 10 Performing School 7th place For the District English Math Celebration 2021 For the Interpretative Reading Contest for Teachers We got 2nd place For MAPE Festival of Talents Digital Poster Making Contest 1st place for the International Humanitarian Law Declamation Contest for Senior High School, we got the third place. International Humanitarian Law Declamation Contest for Junior High School, first place. International Declamation Contest Best in Vocal, TSIS.
Congratulations to all the winners. Our school is really blessed with talented students and teachers. We would like to extend our gratitude to the teachers who dedicated their time and knowledge to train the students. And thank you very much for the undying support of our dear principal, Mrs. Dolores P. Oliveros. And lastly, thank you to our very supportive parents. Thank you and God bless. Many thanks to Mrs. Ocampo for presenting us about the received awards and recognition. Before this virtual presentation ends, let us take this occasion to acknowledge the unwavering effort and support of our General Parents and Teachers Association, led by their President, Mr. Bernie Mahunay, to our Faculty Club, led by the President, Mr. Christopher G. Adelier, and to our Local Government Unit, led by our dearest former City Mayor, Honorable Oscar Oka Malapitan for the success of this school year 2021-2020. And as we end the virtual state of the school address, let me leave you with a quotation by Helen Keller. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I hope that we continue to imbibe that saying as we go on this upcoming school year. This has been your host, Mr. John Paul F. Cobalias. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day too.